Hi everyone, this is Troy with TabSite. Today we're going to take a look at our gallery engagement application. Uh, this is a great application to allow you to easily create a photo gallery and place it as an additional tab on your fan page. So let's get started. We'll take a look. Um, I'm at my Chicago News fan page. I'm going to click on photos and I have a uh, gallery engagement app already set up. As you can see, we have a header image here that says Chicago Skyline Photos. We have our like, tweet, G+, share, and pin, uh, Pinterest uh, pin it uh, icons there so you can uh, socially share these with a variety of uh, social software. As you can see, the images are rotating through here. We've uploaded all our images here. Um, below are the images that we have. We just simply have five up here. If you click on them, it'll take you to those images and you can see some shots of the Chicago Skyline there. Uh, below that, we also have additionally at the bottom the like, tweet, G+, plus, uh, share, and pin it. And then below that yet we have our comments area allowing uh, any user to come and comment on your gallery. So that's the front end of our uh, gallery engagement application. Uh, let's take a look at the back end management area uh, to see how we set this up. Uh, back here is our uh, gallery engagement app manager area. Uh, this here is our header image. Uh, you can drag or you can click uh, to find a file. Uh, we've uploaded this image called Chicago Skyline that you saw back on the front side. Um, below here we have uh, gallery images. You simply upload uh, all your images here um, and you can drop them in and go through there. You can actually you can title them, you can put a caption, you can also incorporate a URL for each of those to link to different areas. So if you have a gallery that you want uh, to link to different areas of different websites, you can have those images do that. Uh, you can set the delay here, so you can that's how quickly that they, they rotate. You, you can do it in 3, 5, 10 seconds, or you can have no autoplay where they can just click below there and, and uh, navigate themselves through the gallery at their own speed. Below here, with all of our engagement applications, we have the social sharing options. Uh, these options, as, you, as we saw on the front side, allow you to add the like, share, tweet, G+, uh, Pinterest pin it button, and the Facebook comments box uh, to the top and bottom of the engagement application, or you can just do the top or just the bottom uh, toggling with, with one of these, with these options. Below this is uh, if you decide to share this on Facebook, this, is, this works for the share option. So uh, it looks for share, like, and G+. So it'll utilize this title, description, and image. So when you share that, that information will show up, show up say, on your Facebook wall if you uh, choose to share it on Facebook. And you can add a 90 by 90 pixel image there. Uh, below there is the uh, tweet text. So if you have the tweet option uh, on, uh, you can pre-populate the uh, tweet with uh, some tweet text that... Uh, caters to your uh, gallery. Right here we have a uh, great Chicago Skyline gallery, so enticing people to, to click on that further. Below that we have a light gate, which is, we don't have that on, what, but what a light gate will do is allow you to uh, put an image in front of the gallery, enticing people to like your page prior to seeing the gallery. So they can't see the gallery until they like your page. Once they like your page, it'll reload and it'll show your gallery to them. So it's a great way to entice people to like your page and, and gain more likes to your fan page. Below is a background color. You can choose whatever color you want as far as the background that goes behind there. We simply have white chosen. Uh, below that, with all of our engagement apps as well, we have some promotional tools. Um, we, we have the ability to add an image uh, that generates some code that you can grab, and you can actually put that code on your website that will link back to your gallery to get people to get to your fan page and, and entice them to um, maybe like your page or get back to gallery and see that from you. So you can place that code anywhere on the web, and on a blog, on a website, whatever you choose there. Um, below that we have uh, what we're calling a smart URL for mobile slash PC. This is a URL that we recommend utilizing anytime you post to the fan page. Um, third party applications right now don't work with um, tab applications don't work on mobile devices. Uh, this is something we hope that Facebook will change soon, but at this stage, this is, uh, this is what we get. So we've developed a smart URL that allows you to, that, that when you post it and they click on it from a mobile device, it'll detect whether you're on a mobile device or, or you're on a PC. But if you're on a mobile device, it'll actually take you to um, what we call our micro sites to display this gallery and get them to the gallery outside of Facebook. So they'll still be able to see your content via a mobile device um, or a PC either way. 
Um, you can always, always save, save and publish your information here, save and post, save and get that mobile URL we just talked about, and then you can always preview this at any time through the manager area. Uh, so that's an overview of our gallery engagement application. It's just a simple way to create a photo gallery and add it to your Facebook fan page. If you'd like more information on TabSite or any of our other engagement applications, feel free to check out our website at www.tabsite.com.